Hi, welcome to class. I'm Chef Roger. I'm about to teach you how we make poisson or papillote. It's a fish that we cook in a parchment paper. Fish in a bag. For that recipe, I'm going to need two fillets of red snapper. Could be red snapper, branzino, orata, dorad. Any kind of those round white fish will work very well. Some olive oil, some fresh rosemary. You could use thyme if you want to. An egg white, some lemon juice, 150 grams of tomato fondue, 150 grams of mushroom duxel, 50 grams of julienne of carrot, 50 grams julienne of celery, and 50 grams julienne of sweet potato. Now, those vegetables, the julienne, they could vary depending on what you like. You know, you could switch them up, no problem. About the tomato fondue and the mushroom duxel, both of those recipes are on my channel, so if you don't know how to make them, please check out those recipes and uh, you'll see they're very easy to make. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my julienne. Uh, I'm going to make it a thin slice with my vegetable. Here I made already the one with the sweet potato and my carrots. I'm going to show you how we do the celery, which is a little bit more complicated and we'll say to make. So for that celery, I'm going to take the celery here, make sure I clean it. I'm going to cut the ends usually. So I'm cutting the ends of it. And now I'm going to cut, little, make little incision, twist it and peel it to remove those fiber inside. See? All that needs to go. You could use a peeler too, but with a knife it works as well. Here I'm going to put my knife like that and peel the celery also this way, it works very well. Just like that. Uh, because those little fibers sometimes uh, they don't have the best texture as you eat them. So I remove them all this way. So now I'm going to make what we call tronçon. Tronçon. And I'm going to take the celery, I'm going to cut it on a, on a bias line, on an incline, to make very thin slices. This way. See? One more here. That'll make it easier after to make our julienne. So again, I take the celery and I cut it like that. So it's a julienne. Usually a julienne is going to be 6 to 7 centimeters long by 1 to 2 millimeter thick. to take each of those slices, you could overlap them, it's going to make the work a little faster. Actually, the way I like to do that is I take them and I overlap them this way, like that. And then I take my knife and I'm going to go and cut them, with them like that. So you cut your julienne of all your vegetables first, then we're going to cook them. We cook them in a little bit of olive oil with some water, salt and pepper. We're going to sweat them uh, till they're tender. I have my oven that's preheating right now at 450 degrees. If you're using a convection oven, 400 degrees is good. Uh, a conventional, uh, conventional oven, a regular oven, you want to put it at 450. Is that my 
my celery, I'm taking the carrot, same thing, I'm going to overlap them like that, and I'm going to, going to make that tree in this way. All those vegetables can be mixed together, they're going to be cooked together. Huh? They kind of take the same amount of time to cook. My sweet potato. So for the carrot and the sweet potato, I actually used a little mandolin here and I made thin slices like that. When you make your slice, it's nice to try to keep them together because after, it's easier to just fan them this way and cut them. Okay, so your junior is done. You're gonna take a little bit of water, put it in your saute pan, I will set a three tablespoon of water here, half tablespoon of olive oil, put that inside, like that, season it with a little salt, and some pepper here. I put that on. I'm going to cook it, I'm going to cover it with a piece of parchment paper. I'm making a parchment lid. If you were here on one of my last lessons, you should know how to make that. For the one who are not here, let me show you again how we do that. You take a piece of parchment paper, you fold it in half, this way, and you fold it again. And then you take it, refold it like a little airplane, and you're doing it again. And again. So then you take a piece of parchment paper to measure the size of the lid you need. You put it in the pan and the tip need to reach the center. And then you're gonna cut the excess here. And we want evaporation of the liquid, so I'm gonna cut the tip too. So it creates a little hole in the center to allow the evaporation. First thing also, what I need to do is toss those around to make sure that the seasoning goes everywhere. I'm going to cover it like that and let it cook gently till everything is nicely tender. While it's cooking, I'm going to show you how we make the parchment paper bag. You're going to take a piece of parchment paper, you're going to fold it in half, and then we're going to cut a hot, hot shape out of that. Take your scissors and you're going to go this way. The outside, you want to make it. You want to make it as big as possible. You make a big half, coming like that. Oops, I miss a piece. Up, and you cut your half like this. Boom, 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 boom. That's your half. We we'll keep that on the side for now. So it's boiling right now, I don't want to let it boil, huh? I just want to let it cook slowly. If not, the water is going to evaporate too fast and my vegetable won't be cooked. So I lower my heat just to a low simmer. Then I keep it covered. It's going to take three to five minutes for those vegetables to be cooked. I'm going to check on those vegetables to see if they are cooked. Try it. At the same time, that make me a check on the seasoning. Very good. So they are cooked. Now I just have a little bit of moisture left here, so I'm gonna let it cook another 20 seconds to evaporate everything, so I get a nice concentration of the flavor. Huh? Okay, it looks pretty dry now. I'm gonna take them and remove them into my little container here. 
So I'm ready to build my papillon. I have my julienne vegetable, my tomato fondue, mushroom duxelle here. I'm going to take my parchment bag that I made and I'm going to place some of the tomato fondue and some of my mushroom duxelle. Then the fish will go on top and the skin side of the fish will go on the bottom. Then on top of the fish I will put my little julienne or vegetable here. Uh, and I will finish it with a little squeeze of lemon juice. And a little branch, half of that branch, a tiny little piece because of rosemary. Rosemary is very strong, so you don't want to put too much. Uh, a little piece like that will do fine. So now I'm going to put some of my tomato fondue right here. Now I'm leaving a gap between the edge of the parchment paper and the tomato fondue. It's very important, so you can close that bag correctly. So the recipe I have that I give you earlier, the ingredient, it's for two person. Huh? So if you have more guests, just double it up. Okay, we make a nice little bed like that with those. Now I'm going to take the fish. I'm going to place it on top. You want the fish to fit exactly the size here, just like that. I'm going to take some of my julienne and cover it like that, nicely. That's a very healthy dish, low calorie, and it's very, very, very tasty. Here we go. Now, Oh, one thing, I did season my fish. Uh, you want to season your fish with a little bit of salt and pepper, very important. A little squeeze of lemon juice. And now I'm going to put the piece of rosemary like that, right here. Now I need to seal that bag. And to be able to seal it well, I'm going to glue it with some egg white. I have an egg white here. I'm going to use a pastry brush. I'm going to brush my bike this way all over here. Then I'm going to take the bike, I'm going to close it like that. Okay? And now I'm going to seal it. The way I seal it is you take the corner, you start by the corner, and you fold it this way. And then you're doing it again. And again. And you go like that all around your papillon. You make sure you seal it well. Huh? We're actually going to do that process twice. Because if it's not well sealed, it won't, it won't pop the way it's supposed to. It will cook well, it'll still be good, but you won't have that nice effect of a balloon. to take a little bit more of my gouache and again I'm going to paste it lightly here and do the process one more time. It's nice and brown, you know, like it looks like a whole piece of parchment paper. So to be able to achieve that, well, I'm going to take a little bit of oil and I'm going to brush the papillot lightly with some oil. Don't use olive oil, use regular vegetable or canola oil, huh? it's better. Olive oil will burn and uh, you might have too much, too much color on it. And I'm going to put that onto 
a half sheet tray here and in my oven for seven to eight minutes. At one point, it's gonna puff. Maybe after four minutes, you see that the bag is popped, but the fish won't be cooked inside. So what I'm going to do is do a little cut right here at that little corner to make sure that that bag stays puff. If I don't do that cut, it may deflate. So it's a little security in the oven. Seven to eight minutes. Okay, so the papillot puffed up, like I told you earlier, and this is when I'm gonna do that little, little cut at the corner to make sure it stays nice and puffed. I'm taking it out to show you quickly here. I'm gonna do a little cut right here. Right away back in my oven. This is to make sure it stays nice and puff. It looks good, huh? My fish has been in the oven for seven minutes. It was a pretty thin fillet of fish, around, I would say, 120 grams. So it should be cooked. I'm taking this out. I'm going to put that on my plate here. And now I'm going to show you how you want to present that. To present it, a very good way to do it is you take a pair of scissors. You know, and you grab a little piece here, you cut into it, you open it like that. You do that at the table for your guest. And look at that beautiful little thing here, how it come out. It's excellent. It smells so good. This is how you make a beautiful fish en papillot. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that class on how to make a fish en papillote. See you next class. Bye-bye.